Welcome back to The Forge for another Rusty production. Today we're going to be doing the Warp Legacy Challenge for uh, February 2018. And this month it is a bottle opener. And as most of you know, uh, if we're doing a bottle opener, I really enjoy those projects because it allows me to drink beer. Now normally what I would do is actually get a piece of material like this 5mm uh, flat stock and I would work directly from that, but I wanted to do something a little bit differently today. I wanted to work with some square stock. So what I've done is I've actually taken the 5mm uh, flat stock and I've converted it to some square stock uh, just as a part of me practicing what I'm doing, trying not to lengthen it out, upsetting the metal as I go and actually seeing if I can get it into uh, a relative square. Now it's not 100% square, it's more of a, a rectangle, but that's fine. Uh, you can see I'm gonna be actually using this edge here. Um, and uh, the intention is to drive a, a hole through here. So I'm gonna punch a hole, widen out the face. Uh, we're gonna twist it through the center here, which is why I wanted to get it square. Uh, and then we're going to finish it off and give it a little bit of a, a tail flick. And, uh, and then we'll try it out. So uh, let's light up the forge and get started. So while that's heating up, I'll just let you in on a few other things that I've been doing lately. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, my forge welds going. Uh, and by that, uh, basically I'm failing a lot. So I, I wanna show you those on video soon, but I just haven't captured anything today. One of the practices that I'm looking to do is actually start creating some of these chain links and uh, start linking these together. But you can see from this, there's just a whole lot of mess of flux and, and rubbish and crap. Uh, I'm having trouble uh, forge welding anything of this size. Uh, in fact, up until yesterday, I hadn't forge welded anything correctly, but here is my first forge welded piece. This teardrop here. Um, got this up to sparkler, just as soon as it started sparkling, I was able to get it onto the thing, give it a, uh, not a big whack, but just a, a touch of a whack, and then uh, and get it to, to weld together, and then um, was able to uh, heat it back up and, and sort of taper it out a little bit. So this is my first forge welding success, this little teardrop. I'm not gonna do anything with it, I'm just gonna keep that around. But uh, you're gonna see a lot more forge welding experiments in the near future. First thing I'm gonna do is get the, uh, the, the end of this pot, because that's gonna form my eye where I'm gonna punch it. Uh, so the metal's in there. I use this as a bit of leverage, this uh, this bar as well, so I can just get a little bit of an angle in there. It's not ideal because I haven't got the full size board. Right, I'll just mark that. Um, it's not cold, but I'll uh, I'll just score it now. Bringing in an earthen punch now. Gonna round it out a bit. Okay, flip it over. See, I don't have a pretzel hole, so I'll use this. Should be able to punch the slug out from there. There we go. Alright, slug punched out. Uh, now I'm just going to run a, um, a drift through that. I'm just going to uh, heat it back up and then we'll run a drift through it. Now 
that's a lot neater. Um, but now I've got to, I'm going to run a wider drift actually through it, and um, oh, these are heavy. Uh, clearly, you see, I'm not working with the best tools here, but um, we're getting there. All right, we've got the clamp on there, so it's a little bit more secure. Now I'll try and put this drift through a little bit further. Without it totally breaking. Make sure it's hot. So I'll uh, we've opened that up. It's obviously starting to get a little bit thin, so what I might do is actually start working on the horn after that. I'm gonna knock the ears off this. Um, I've got a feeling it's gonna get too thin. a hammer for this one either. So just quickly, um, watch out that one, so until I look up. Um, <laughs> you can see that the material in the um, uh, in that whole um, head of the bottle open area is very thin. Now, I need to get it uh, uh, about the size of a 20 cent piece. This is Australian currency. About a 20 cent piece. Um, and currently it's about two thirds the, the uh, diameter. So, I'm gonna try something to try and get more material into that space. I do not know if this is gonna work, but we'll see how we go. I think that actually might work. Uh, I'm just trying to upset here try and push some of that more material through there. So I'm just gonna be careful of heating up this area because it's just gonna bend and twist and what have you. If I can upset enough metal, I can maybe get some more up that end. There's plenty in the top, there's not a lot in the sides. Oh, it's so thin, but it's so close. piece there it's just about right but they're so thin here I'm gonna keep going all right so the size is just about right Maybe a little rounder which I'll clean up in just a second but that's about the right size. Now I just need to uh, create more of an oval shape with it. And then we can actually create a little tab in the front. All right, let's put this tab in. Start back here. Work forward. gentle on the top here. Okay, believe it or not, as thin as that is, uh, I was able to get it to the right size and it works. I've, I've done a, uh, a test bottle top and um, it works just fine. And it's because I moved this one forward, you can see that? That's moved forward so the tab goes further to the back. So with that in mind, it actually does do what it's supposed to do. So next, I've got a twist through here. Uh, I am actually gonna put my, uh, my touch mark stamp into the front of it, and then taper this out, and finally twist it out at the end. So let's finish it off. All right, here comes the touch mark. bad. You can see that there.
give this a bit of a curl. over with that the the, uh, the mouth is just a little bit clunky but um, I'm, I'm more happy with the fact that I have got this so thin and didn't break it so <laughs> that's been the challenge on this one uh, I'm just gonna heat it up and then give it a bit of a burnish finish it off with this brush and uh, we should be right to try it out all right so here's our finished piece um, I think that looks pretty cool actually I'm happy with the result and uh, now it's time to test the thing out uh, and I brought some friends to help me. Here they are! <laughs> There's 24 friends! <laughs> Now with these uh, beers, it's Carlton Draft, um, uh, I think they're the best beer, but they're actually screw tops, so I don't actually need the bottle opener to, to work that one. But I'm going to give it a go anyway, just to make sure that it does work. And, uh, oh, I haven't had a drink in a while, um, and that's very, very good. I'm going to, um, I might actually try, uh, try it a few more times, just to make sure that works <laughs> the way we want. All right, we're going to try another one. And it's actually really cool. I like, mm, I like the, uh, the twist. Um, that's come out. <coughs> There's punch. Beautiful. What? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 you're right. It's um it is hot. It's fans good. Thanks for watching the video. Um, the thank you, Tuan, and the whole um, I have made better bottle tops. Like and subscribe, and um, thank you, Tuan, and everyone else in the Warp community. And hmm. <laughs>